Hi plant friends, today I'm repotting a couple of my orchids, actually four of them. I've been doing a lot of plant shopping videos and haven't had time to really take care of my plants. So finally I've ordered some bark and now I'm going to tackle repotting these beauties. The very good orchids, I picked them up not too long ago from Vandermeer Nursery and the other two are from Crystal Star Nurseries and I think I purchased them maybe about three years ago so they're about due for repotting. I definitely don't recommend leaving your orchids for so long unattended in these plastic nursery pots, especially with the sphagnum moss. You have to be quite delicate in watering these and making sure they completely dry out before watering. So it's best to repot them as soon as possible into some airy media so they don't um, sit in that water for too long and create root rot. I'm soaking these babies. I want that sphagnum moss to soak up a lot of water and loosen up. It will make it easier to remove the sphagnum moss from the roots and cause less damage to the roots. I purchased this orchid about three years ago and it's been in the same nursery pot. It's built up a lot of algae. I'm curious to see how the roots are gonna turn out. At first glance, this is looking really good. Uh, I'm going to remove a little bit and put it to soak for a little bit longer. It's not recommended to repot your orchid when it's in bloom, but this orchid's been in bloom for over a year now and I can't wait any longer. This orchid's got some nice, beautiful new roots, a little bit of dead roots at the bottom, but that's expected since it's been trapped in this nursery pot for so long. This is the orchid that I'm most concerned about. The leaves are limp. That tells me there might be some root rot. She's not getting enough moisture to keep her leaves nice and firm. a lot of algae build up on this one and she doesn't have that nice luscious roots like the other plants so definitely struggling I think she's just barely hanging on by those aerial roots There's a lot of root rot and the media is quite old. Definitely not the conditions for an orchid to have nice flourishing roots. Ideally one should repot their orchids every one to two years. Thank goodness she's got a lot of those aerial roots so I think she'll pull through and recover. Let's cut away some of these dead roots. Since the plant was soaking, you can see the difference between the nice healthy roots and the dead roots. Wherever it's brown, I'm just going to simply cut away. Also cut these strings away. They're part of the root. They're what's left after the root has rotted away.
in this particular case, most people would cut the spike and allow the orchid to concentrate all of that energy into working on new roots and plumping up the leaves. She still has enough aerial roots that she will recover, so I'm going to opt to keep the spike. The roots on the second orchid is pretty bad too, but not as bad as the first one. I've waited way too long to repot these beauties. Now this is much better. These roots are nice and plump. Just a few dead pieces that I'm going to cut away, but I'm very satisfied with the health of these roots. This beauty had two spikes. The flowers are spent, but the spikes are still there. I'm only cutting the spike that's brown. I like to wait until my spikes are completely spent before cutting them off. For the variegated orchids, since they've got the most healthy roots, I'm going to use horticulture charcoal with the orchid bark. I like using the New Zealand orchid bark. I find that this bark is quite tough. It doesn't degrade or crumbled up as quickly as other orchid bark. So I prefer using this for my orchids, especially since I'm going to put this in one of those airy orchid pots. I like something that's going to have a little bit of longevity because I might not repot these plants for a very long time. I find that this combination of media is a good mixture for my orchids. The charcoal is going to keep down any fungus and smells and the bark is nice and durable. I'm put, placing two orchids in one pot for this arrangement. I purchased these pots at Home Depot many years ago. Finally, I'm getting around to repotting. I like these pots because they've got a lot of holes. It allows for a lot of air movement around the orchids and orchids really enjoy a lot of airflow around their roots. The pot's quite holy, so some of the bark's gonna fall out of the pot over time. But as the orchid grows, the, the roots are gonna grab onto the bark and keep the bark in place in the pot. I purchased two variegated orchids because of the flower. They are the same orchid, however the flowers are slightly different. I've got a regular flower, but one is slightly pyloric with a triple lip. I had a hard time deciding which orchid to purchase, so I decided to purchase them both.
since these two orchids are struggling for the media I'm gonna add some sphagnum moss the sphagnum moss will hold a little bit more moisture in the media to help these roots hydrate so it's sphagnum moss orchid bark and horticultural charcoal Since the pot has a lot of holes and there will be a lot of air movement, the media will dry it very quickly. So I'm going to water these plants every four days. I'm going to also keep them on my kitchen counter where it is bright but there's no direct sunlight. When I water, it will also include fertilizer. It won't be at full strength, it will be a very weak fertilized solution in every watering. Orchid doesn't have a lot of roots. I'm also potting the aerial roots. This will allow her to get more moisture. The second orchid has a bit more roots, so this one I can afford to leave some of that aerial roots outside the pot. The names of these orchids are quite a mouthful. They're the same orchid, the same cross. The only thing is the flowers look a little bit different. They're pyloric and I had a hard time choosing at the store which one to go with, so I grabbed both of them, especially since I love the flowers. Let's water these babies. To control fungus gnats, I use the mosquito dung. So I always have a jug of water with mosquito dung floating in it, just soaking away. The mosquito dung, it actually has some kind of enzyme or bacteria that kills the larvae for um, the fungus gnats. So that helps control those pesky little bugs. Sometimes mosquito dung can be hard to find. I order mine from Home Depot or Amazon. I also saw them at Kim's Nature if anyone's looking. Since the orchids have been soaked before repotting, I'm not gonna soak them again. I don't want it to retain too much moisture and lead to more root rot. I'm just gonna gently have some water cascade over the roots and the orchid bark to create a little bit of moisture. And I will do this routine about every five days until the orchids have fully settled in. I'll know that the orchids are settled when the leaves are nice and firm, especially the orchid that's struggling a little bit right now. I'm hoping her leaves are gonna firm up in the next couple of days.
Now plant friends, after watering, you want to make sure there's no water sitting in between the leaves because this can also lead to crown rot. Plant friends, my orchids really enjoy these holy pots. I potted up a Phalaenopsis many years ago and look at it now. It's still in the same pots, the same media, but look at those aerial roots. Fly friends, this is the reason why I love Phalaenopsis orchids. They're always giving spectacular blooms. They're quite rewarding. Look at this beauty. Three spikes and it's been blooming for almost a year now. Thanks for watching Fly friends. Remember to like, subscribe and comment and follow me on Instagram at Life of Bellina.